Hi, good evening everyone. It's uh, Ian Smith of Ian Smith Photography here. Uh, so today I'm in Simra's Hum. Uh, I'm going to do a, a sunset shoot. Uh, Simra's Hum was on the east coast and as we know the sunset is in the west so we're on the opposite side. But I think there's still going to be some nice hues because it's really cold and everything so I, I think it's going to be quite nice. Uh, so this is going to be the first of two videos that I do um, talking about printing and in particular photo speed and uh, photo speed papers are really good papers I've used them for some time and uh, I'm going to make a couple of videos for them and this one is going to be uh, location to print so I'm going to shoot tonight and go home print it and then we'll talk about the results on on, uh, on paper when I have them. And in part two of this video, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, printing the same image on uh, different papers. So I have four, I think four or five different papers, uh, completely different actually, and uh, it'll be interesting to see from uh, maybe a couple of different photos how they how they come across on these different papers so uh, I want to make it really clear before I go any further that uh, I'm quite new to printing I'm by no means an expert in printing uh, so you know don't shoot me dead if I get uh, things wrong or terminology is uh, not as you would expect but uh, look we're all in this game to learn and uh, Certainly in my case, learning by doing is uh, far more effective than being taught, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to head over to this location behind me here, it's called War Howland, and uh, I'm going to take a, a look, see if I can find a composition I've shot here literally hundreds of times, so there'll be no surprises and nothing special, but uh, I'm going to try and do my best to, to utilise the, the light that we have tonight. Uh, to try and get an interesting print at the end of it. So let's go over this way and I'll show you what I'm going to shoot and when I get there. Okay. So, I was over on this direction, uh, took a few pictures, uh, a lot of the volcanic rock jutting out into the Baltic. As you can see behind me, the tones are quite nice now. Not too happy with the compositions over there, they just were a bit boring and not really working out. But this channel going out into the sea of, uh, is very pretty tonight. The, the, yeah, the lovely soft tones for the winter and everything. It, it, 
it's really nice so yeah I'm gonna sort of mess around with this and uh, see if I can come up with uh, something pretty which I think will look nice in print and, uh, and we'll see how it goes um, so just talk you through it I've got my uh, Nikon Z7 um, I've got the 14 to 30 Z lens on um, I have uh, breakthrough photography filters uh, the um, the magnetic six stop on um, it's a CPL as well built in um, and I've got a two stop hard grad just to hold in the sky a little bit uh, I'm trying it with and without the grad uh, but safe enough with the grad I reckon um, and it looks pretty nice so yep so that's the the setup let me play around with this a little bit longer and I'll come back to you okay so that was a, a frantic few minutes because it really kicked off in the, the west and uh, as a result it, it, it kind of lit up you can still see the remainder of it on, the, on this side and it, it was really beautiful so <clears throat> I took the composition here I, I talked about earlier I then had a little bit of hunt about but uh, over here at the actual volcanic rocks over there you've probably seen photos on my Instagram before I've shot there already twice this week because of the light and I couldn't resist going back over and shooting again so uh, I'm gonna put the photos up on the screen for you as well uh, it was really gorgeous. I didn't have time to to take this uh, filming camera with me, uh, so I apologise for that. But uh, the uh, location to print video, I think, is going to take shape quite nicely. I'll go back home now and I'll uh, select the image that I think would look best in print, and then discuss that with you back home. So back to the car, five minute ride back home, and. Uh, We'll take it from there. I'll talk to you later when I get back home. Okay, ciao for now. So hi everybody, back in the uh, in the print room. Uh, that was a lovely photo shoot this evening. Um, I don't think I expected it to be just so uh, colourful and uh, for the tones to be just so uh, beautiful and conducive to late afternoon or early evening photography. But um, yeah, nature never never fails to surprise. That's the the moral of that story. So anyway, the the subject of the uh, of the video today was uh, print. Uh, sorry, location to print. Um, on behalf and for uh, photo speed papers, um, they're based in the UK, and um, I just wanted to, uh, you know, do this for them because, as an as new as being new to printing, um, there's an awful lot to learn, and as guys, they're very helpful, uh, particularly at passing advice on. Um, their website is packed full of information on uh, on printing really nice landscape photographs, uh, whether you're experienced or inexperienced like myself. So uh, that's the first thing I wanted to say about that. The second thing um, is, you know, I'm going to do two videos. I think I mentioned it before. The first one is this location to print. Um, I think I mentioned before I was going to do it on one paper. I'm actually going to do it on two to give you a comparison. Um, and um, the second part of the video is going to be comparing four different papers um, and talking about uh, the benefits of profiling um, and printing and the comparison between paper for the different types of images that you, you, you're you um, you're shooting and wanting to, to print and get the most out of. So that's going to be the second part. But anyway, before I continue any further, let's just get on with uh, get on with this. So, um, before I was going to do it on one paper, but they've given me such beautiful papers. Um, and from my own point of view, um, I chose uh, this image here. 
So this is uh, called Vorhalen and it is uh, a volcanic uh, rock cliff face coming along the edge of the Baltic there. I tend to like to add a long exposure technique to these photos. Um, I think seascapes, uh, it depends of course on what you're, you're wanting from it, but from my point of view on this particular scene it was serene so you want to make the uh, the photograph look as serene as possible and by that I'm adding a long exposure. This is the um, the 305 um, cotton paper. It is the platinum cotton uh, 305 GSM which means it's very lovely and very thick. You can feel the slightly soft texture running through the paper. I don't want my grubby fingers all over it and ruin it straight away. Um, and um, from reading the blurb, it's sort of well suited to maybe um, sort of watercolour, pastel-y scenes, um, soft in texture and so on. Um, and so I chose this one, which actually, unfortunately, I didn't show in the in the original video I, I shoot at the location because I shot this two or three times over the last week and I sort of didn't want to go and do the same thing again. I know it was only me that knew that, you guys didn't know, but from my own point of view. But anyway, when I, I saw the scene that I had, I'll show you the image I guess at the end of the video, um, I wasn't incredibly happy with it so I dashed over there. I didn't take the filming camera with me and I, and I took this again, which is, is really pretty. Um, so that was the first one. Um, and then if I compare it against the, the second print that I made, this is on the um, unglazed gloss, the Legacy Gloss 325. So it's a 325 GSM paper. It's really nice and thick. And it's got this, um, I don't know, to, to me when I'm holding it and, and looking at it, it's a kind of the perfect blend between a, a Berata paper and um, a gloss. So you're kind of taking them both. It's got a lovely sheen to the top of it. And I think when you actually look at the settings, um, I didn't change anything for either of these prints. And immediately you can see that the, uh, the platinum cotton is softened up significantly. Um, it, it has reduced the contrast very significantly, I would say. Now this could be something technical to do with me. I, I want to say that straight off the bat. I will discuss it with the guys. And this isn't to say I'm actually um, criticizing this because I'm not. I, know, I knew before I started that this print wasn't going to look the same as the, um, the, same as the Legacy Gloss. Um, that, that was kind of going to be obvious to begin with. So it's taken a lot of the contrast and a lot of the punch out of the image. So I actually find them both really beautiful in their own way. Um, some people will prefer this, some people will prefer that. I have printed a number of images on both from my catalogue and I probably in this case uh, prefer the Legacy Gloss. I, I think it, it brings out the tones, um, the contrast, um, the kind of overall saturation of the the image uh, just a little bit more and for my taste uh, on a seascape which is a sunset and I, um, uh, on, the, on this particular occasion the sunset and I, you know I, I just feel that you know for creating impact uh, this is going to make you stand and look a little bit more at it. If this had been a uh, a fog uh, image in woodland or something like that. I think the kind of tactile, the, the textured nature of it the, and, and the softened up nature of it would have probably lifted it a little bit more. A little bit more. I kind of know that for a fact because I've already printed some but I'm not going to discuss that in this video. Um, I find the papers utterly gorgeous um, and you know as I said, this one tends to sort of fit with my own, uh, with my own style, if you like. Um, I would like to know your opinion. If you'd like to share your views on, on both these beautiful pictures, um, which one would you prefer? 
Um, maybe you've used the papers before, in which case with Photospeed, I'd love to hear what you, your findings on Photospeed papers are. Um, but that is me being completely honest up front about one picture um, on two different papers. Um, nothing to say negative about either. Um, probably plenty to be discussed about my own um, uh, technique when it comes to printing and, and knowledge about it. But, you know, I'm not an idiot and uh, I've certainly handled enough prints and I've taken enough photographs to know what I'd be looking for. And both would be absolutely fine for me. This one on this occasion is going to, uh, is, is going to be the, the keeper, I think. Um, and a little bit before speak, apart from the fact they, uh, they, they, they were incredibly helpful, incredibly easy to deal with. Um, everything was packed up and delivered very timely, but also the packaging was um, vault proof. Uh, there was no chance of any damage or anything coming in the post. And I live abroad. It's really, um, it's really important to me that everything arrives safe and sound without damage. Uh, I say this, of course, for absolutely everybody. But as we all know, accidents happen, and I didn't really see from the packaging how an accident can happen. It was uh, beautifully packaged. Um, and uh, my next video is, if you like, going to be the main uh, photo speed video, um, because I'm going to compare a lot of papers. But I thought it would be quite interesting for me and for you guys to see a location, uh, see the kind of... Um, the Swedish uh, winter tones that we get, and go straight from... I shoot to the print room and, and, and sort of complete the process if you like and you know if I if I may say um, I'm absolutely loving printing it's great fun and it definitely completes the, the, the photographic process I've been going out photographing landscapes and and I think I've been improving at it for many years um, but you know, I really think that um, when you're putting it into the hands of a, an independent printer, um, you, you're leaving the interpretation of the image largely up to them. Um, whereas at least when you come home and you complete it, it takes the time issue away from it so you're getting an immediate uh, look at your work. Um, you can deliver it to a client or hang it on your wall on the same day that you print. Um, and, and then you're completely involved in the whole process. Um, and, and of course, if you don't like it, you can re-edit it and reprocess it and, and do it again. Um, so, you know, I think it's a great thing to do. Uh, and, and as always, you want to build up relationships. Um, us photographers tend to be uh, quite loyal. And um, I, I really think that um, when you build up relationships with, uh, with photographic companies, you, you know, you, you're getting a, a two-way relationship which hopefully will last a, a really long time. And uh, my, uh, my dealings with Photospeed have always been absolutely top-notch, so um, I do recommend their papers. There's lots of great paper companies out there. I've used many of the top ones, um, but I'm going to be sticking with Photospeed. Um, they're the guys that... Uh, they deliver the best service as far as I'm concerned and the paper quality and the premium feel to them is it's really just beautiful. Yeah. I'm always very honest about these things. I have, um, I have been gifted these papers and sent them uh, for the purposes of review, but um, you know, my own integrity as a, as a human and as a photographer always comes first before saying nice things about companies just for the sake of it. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you the truth, and uh, throughout my career as a tennis coach, I always told the truth um, to my detriment sometimes. So anyway, I'll tell you the truth about these papers. Um, they're great. Uh, and as a company, they're great. So I'm going to go away and think about how I'm going to put together uh, part two of this. Um, and I'll be filming it over the next couple of days and getting out to you guys over the next uh, week or so. Um, but for now, I'm going to say uh, these are my two prints from today's photo shoot to print. That's the comparison between the two. Until next time, I'll see you then. Enjoy your week. Bye for now.